Monday morning, guys. Welcome to this week in my life. I started out with a cycle bar ride, as you can tell by my hair. It's already 7.15, so I'm just gonna head in now, go on Instagram, just like have some time. But they're doing this like monster marathon thing, and I don't know how people do that. Um, I went this morning because it was supposed to be an express ride, but they extended it to 45 minutes, and you guys know, I like 45 minute rides. So I went and that's why I'm a little later today arriving because the class got out at 6.45 and then I had to like change and all that. So yeah, I'm um, gonna go in now and just put on my little scrub cap. I'm hoping my hair will like air dry faster, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so we're cooking as a family tonight. I am gonna get in the shower soon, but uh, I'm gonna help start the meal, I guess. I need to shower and everything, wash the hairs. And I didn't realize I was behind on editing a lot of videos, so. I'm gonna edit one after I get out of the shower, hopefully. but I wanted to unbag some more caps, well, hat things. So I bit my lip and it kind of hurts, but it's fine. I know it'll heal. Also, I discovered I had a bug bite here, which kind of sucks too, but I wanted to show you guys this new cap. So it was a little expensive, but I had to get it because I mean, come on, look at how funny. It's ovaries on a cap and it says, don't overreact. I think that's the funniest thing ever. So, and then you can put your hair in this little thing right here. But I don't know, I just thought that was so funny. And then I have one other package. I think this is just my um, conditioner. Conditioner because I got my shampoo in another order and that is everything. And here is the gorgeous go. meal that you've seen a lot. The mother's looks like that and I'm gonna eat and then I have to edit a video. Wednesday at Duncan and I'm on my way into class. Look at all the stuff I have to carry, like, holy cow. Anyway, like my outfit, I'll, I am so tired and everything. I got Duncan, we, we didn't have the copy that we got at Publix, so that's why I just like, I need to have some caffeine in the morning because it's just too early. It's finals week. I don't know if I said that in this video, but it's finals week, so for like basic healthcare, like the test is tomorrow. And we're just like, okay, we made the study guide. Um, I think I showed you a little um, of the notes and stuff. Okay, so it was early day. I'm at Publix because I want to get a Starbucks because I did have Dunkin' earlier, but it was just, it was eh, because I got the flavoring. But I am so tired, guys. Sorry, that's my um, turn signal. I'm waiting for this lady but um yeah I think I'm gonna get some espresso because I'm so tired I don't know what it is I mean I did get up early for cycle bar but still I'm just really tired so um gonna have some Starbucks and then I'm gonna go to the library and study some more I think I'm good like I mean a lot of it's common sense and then the other stuff is just like things to know um but Anyway, that's what I can do right now, and I'm gonna do that. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this clip. I got my drink, and she put a little ghost on it for me. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I'm like a little shook right now. Look how cute, I got the espresso. This is our study guide. Um, me and a few other like classmates made this. 
so it's just like the objectives, like Maslow's hierarchy. I'm sure you guys have all like studied that part, but I'll get to a more interesting part. So <laughs> I wanted to share this with you guys. So like taking vital signs. So what are the vital signs? The vital signs are pulse, respiration, um, blood pressure, and pulse, if I didn't say that. So respiration, pulse, blood pressure, and temperature are the vital signs. And then um, we have here like the oral cavity temperature is 98.6 and then in Celsius it's 37 and then internal body temperature is 99 and then in Celsius it's 37.2. And then the basic, the normal um, beats per minute for your heart is 60 to 100. And then all of this stuff. So basically coli means the gallbladder. Angiography is with the veins. And then the myo, myelo, the myelography is like with the muscles and stuff. Because my in medical terms is like muscle and then we have the retro the retrograde pilo pilography and that is like checking out the urination the urinary tract and gallbladder and bladder and kidneys and stuff so yeah i've just been like doing all this and then the complete blood count so when you get like a normal blood count you get your hemoglobin your hemo crit hemo citrate like hemo crit i don't know that's just what it looks like spelled out so that's kind of how i'm saying it and then there's the um urethrites reticulites and then the light lytocytes yeah, and lytocytes, the leo, le, leo -cu, leuco, I think it's leuco, I don't know. I know it starts with an L and then there's sites at the end, so that's the white blood count. So, like, I just try to remember, like, I just am trying to remember those, which I say them, like, awfully, but, like, I know them when I see them. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to relax a little bit. I'm having dinner with my friend at London tonight, so... Um, we're going to this Ava place in Winter Park, and it's like, it's basically just like a Mediterranean place. I don't know. It looks like it has good food, and hopefully they have something I like. They should have a salad, so we're good in that apartment. But anyway, yeah, this is just like what I've been studying, and I feel like I know, mo like, I feel like I'm pretty confident, but... I don't know because like when you guys you guys know when you take a test you don't know the types of questions that are going to be on that so like it could be like a scenario question I hate those but you know it's okay it could be like all the following except I hate those too sometimes or it could be really basic like what is an ethical dilemma what is a sen sentinel event you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just like, because I haven't had a test like that, like this in like so long, like I don't know what to expect. And I think that's why we're all like me and my classmates are like kind of freaking out. Also too, I need to like, uh, fluff out my hair and like put like a little touch more dry shampoo in her because she's a little crusty from, from this morning. Always love the winter park area. So peaceful. So nice. London and I got some hummus and peanut bread. Hey girl! <laughs> All right, so we got this green salad and um, I'll tell you a little story time. <laughs> it's a car, but it's just kind of funny. Anyway, 
All right, so London and I are at the wine room now. Cheers, <laughs> with nothing in it, because it's a wine down Wednesday. Okay, so I got a spooky wine, and it's the red blend, and it's actually really good. It's nice and light. We're back. All right, so we got our ice cream, and I'm just vlogging this before it melts. I started to dig in, as you can see. Okay, I think I left off with dinner with my friend London, but I'm not sure. So I wanted to explain what happened at dinner. Okay, so the food was amazing. I'm not gonna deny that. Like, it was really good, it was seasoned well, but our service was a little wonky. So she found out like a hair in her bread, which they were really good. They brought us like complimentary hummus, which we're gonna get anyway. So like, and it was so good. Like the seasoning, everything was so good. And I'm sure that was just like a mistake on their end. And maybe they were like understaffed and stuff. But then after that, like our waiter didn't come around to us like a lot. And we were just kind of sitting there waiting. And again, we were like, oh, maybe they're just like, understaffed and that's understandable especially in these times but like we were there before a lot of other people and stuff so anyway we order the greek salad which again it was so good i would recommend that it was seasoned very well but again like the salad took a long long time to come out so we were we sat there we think like over an hour like waiting and it was fine because we were like catching up and stuff like i hadn't seen her like since before the hurricane yeah it was kind of just like what is going on here so we were glad we waited so we just ordered the salad and then we were gonna just like go from there but since that took so long and it was just taking a long time we just decided to uh pay for the salad and then leave um just because it was kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but the restaurant's expensive. Like it's not like a cheap place to dine and she had dined there before and it wasn't like that. So it could have just been an off night and stuff, uh, which is understandable again, but we decided to just pay for our salad and cause we like split the salad. So we just paid for that, which worked out because like, you know, I don't have a lot of income coming in. So it was, I was fine with that. And then we went to the wine room because on Wednesdays it's wine down Wednesday or something like that. So when you load your card with $20, they'll give you 40. Um, so that was really good. So we loaded our cards with like $20 and then tried a few wines. And then we got ice cream because it was waffle cone Wednesday. If you buy one, ice cream with a cone you get the other free so that was it just like worked out so well um we had a really good time and everything and yeah so just got out of the shower i feel like i only vlog when i get out of the shower so sorry about that and i'm like wearing the same thing but today was our final our basic healthcare final and let me tell you guys <laughs> i thought i was gonna do better um i got a b so i got an 83 and I swear, when I read that first question, I was like, uh, it's gonna go downhill from here. Like basically all of my classmates and I all had like the same feelings and stuff. And let me just say like our class average was not the best. It wasn't as strong as like I would have thought it would have been, but it's the first like final and everything. We have other chances. It's the beginning. There were questions on there that like I just did not know. And there were some questions that I had to use like common sense for and it was just like hard. And then like during the test, I kept asking myself like, Alex, why did you choose to go back to school? Like <laughs> you're taking a freaking test and you don't know anything anyway. No, I knew some, but it was kind of frustrating at first. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing, man? Guys, don't make fun of me, but I did not know what temperature in Fahrenheit that water boils. <laughs> so I put 100 because I'm like, oh, that's like even, that's playing it safe, kind of. It's 212. So I will always remember that now because I got that question wrong. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's a common sense question that I feel like everyone should know, but I didn't know it. So it was kind of like... Ooh, man. And then there was another one, like, 
what's the normal beats per minute for a heart and then in the textbook it says 60 to 100 and that's like what my peers and I studied and the quiz said it was wrong it said it's 75 to 100 so yeah I don't know but we're gonna talk with like the director of like the program about like our tests and stuff so hopefully like he'll change that one for me because like I studied what was in the book and everything yeah I'm gonna open some packages because I got a couple things that I want to share with you guys overall though we're doing good we're doing good and yeah it feels nice to be like all clean fresh so first off i have one more scrub cap i know it seems like i've been getting a lot of these but really i only have three i have the one that uh, my teacher gave me i have the ovary one and then i have the corgi one but that one came with two and i didn't really think it was gonna come with two but look at how cute this one is so i decided to get this one because I think it's adorable with like all the bones and stuff so it just has like the names of the bones like the sphenoid bone the floating ribs cla clavicular notch like just all of that on a little hat so I think that's adorable and then it just says like thank you for your order and all of that stuff so this is garbage Next up, I have the makeup that I ran out of. I placed an order on Sephora because I don't really have like a lot of time to be like going out to like shop and stuff for this and like I was out of things. So first up, I have my foundation, which is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in medium one. This is what it looks like and this costs like $50 and I'm just like holy cow. Um, I'm gonna keep it in the box because I don't need it like right this minute but my other one like I can tell like it's kind of like to here on the bottle like I am running a little low on it so I decided to get one of these just I have that ready for when I run out. Next up I have just the plain hula bronzer and I swear guys this will last me for like three to four years. <laughs> I know it's not good to like use makeup for that long, but honestly, I had the other one that like hit pan and I was running low on since 2016. <laughs> so I know this one will last me a long time. I definitely got my cost per use out of my old hula bronzer. Like that was kind of crazy. And then lastly, I got the precisely my brow pencil. I have been getting better at my brows, but I still do the brows first because they take me like 800 years to do and I always get so nervous because it's just super hard but I definitely needed one of these because I ran out of the other one so you just have the little spoolie right here and then we have the actual like eyebrow pencil here and yeah she looking brand new and very pretty so I'm happy with this stuff and yeah, I don't know what I'll vlog tomorrow, if anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little section with some of the little goodies I got. Good morning, guys. I decided to continue the vlog and just vlog a little today because we're setting up our Halloween decor. So that'll be like super fun to film for you guys. Hopefully we end up doing that. Fingers crossed. You never know with like people's schedules and everything. I am keeping it pretty casual today this is my outfit super comfortable i need to run like one errand to pick up uh some medications for sherry uh i don't know which ones probably like her heart or for her pain for her back but anyway um yeah so since i have to go out of the house i wasn't really planning on going out of the house but this is my outfit and i'm gonna have lunch now probably gonna do a salad with turkey like normal um, so I'll show you guys that in one second. And lunch is served. I'm gonna eat a little bit and then I have a errand to run like I said earlier, but these are the Friday vibes because we don't have school today. Okay guys, what we've all been waiting for this holiday season, we are putting up our lights and cr Christmas Halloween decor <laughs> um, for our new house and I'm so excited Valerie is excited as well so that's why we are doing it right now she got home from work and 
first we need to clean the railings and everything um and then we are gonna start putting up our lights i don't know if i'll show you guys the little skeletons valerie ordered but they're cute she even put like a little hat on one and yeah like it's really fun and nice to now have like a little front porch to decorate we've um made it so valerie's in charge of halloween and i will be in charge of christmas getting to design stuff and we put sherry what's sherry's holiday I don't know. It's Easter. Easter. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. She she's not that she's not too passionate, so uh it's okay. But anyway, we're gonna step outside here. See that? You excited, Valerie? Yes. Yeah, we are so excited. Our house is gonna look cute. We're gonna get more obviously next year. This will be fine for right now. Wanted to show you guys Mr. Bones over here. So this is our skeleton. Here's a look at his little ribs. Soon I'm gonna be able to like probably name all those bones again. I know that's the humorous uh, tibia, fi tibia, fibia, eye socket. <laughs> and then over here we have this little guy. He is silver and black. He's kind of cool looking. Valerie's gonna do the honors over here. She's gonna open up the first pack. She loves Halloween. I think Halloween's your favorite holiday right oh, i love christmas but halloween is a special place special but i do love everybody loves christmas yeah i know christmas is my favorite yeah and Should valerie's like the biggest kid me. i know okay so we'll have one extension cord here and so let's you want me to hold i think so but okay. I All right, so this is gonna be the moment of truth. No, no, no. I don't even know if the LED even works. Oh, oh, there they are. There they are. Oh my God, they're all in one, okay. Which one? Okay, they look good. Okay, so Mr. Bones has some, has some fiesta around him. And just like that, they're working. Okay, so this makes me wanna tell the story because I always need to tell the story because I think it's so funny. So back when we lived in Celebration the first time, some of our de decor, decorations outside, our Christmas ones got vandalized. And it was just funny and it was like so sad because we had these light up flamingos with Santa hats. And I thought they were so cute. They were like little animatronics. So they would like, the neck would go down like they were eating and stuff. And we think it was like some teenagers in town or something, I don't know. They came by and like took, tore the head off and like tore legs off of these poor like decor items, the poor flamingos in our house. So anyway, don't be doing that to our skeletons or our future Christmas decor people. Like don't be doing that because that will make me sad. All right, so it's Valerie's a, uh, battery buddy. using her battery buddy. I love battery buddy. She does. Anyway. This Listen, thing after all those years of having the batteries like a mess every place. It makes me laugh every time. Um, this thing that Valerie is putting batteries in, this thing, has been in my old closet for so long and now it's finally come out. It's unearthed itself. And, well we didn't use it at all when we lived in Kissimmee. No. Oh there it is. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It still works just like it did. Yes, and what I want to do now is we'll put him here. Okay, I'll get the other thing. So we can like, you know, control the atmosphere here. Okay. I remember we were annoyed with it always because it just kept going off. Okay, so walking up the stairs, you see him and he'll like go off like that. Then over here we have, what? Another thing that I bought. Oh, Valerie has another thing. Then we have the skeleton. Oh, oh, here she comes. I bought this stuff on sale. I guess it's sensitive to sound too, so don't mind it. Then we have this little guy. You already saw him, but his light, his, his eyes light up. And then we have, then we have these lights over here and over here. Valerie's opening up her tombstones. I forgot you got these. Yeah, these are like cheap ones. Oh. These aren't nice ones like we'll get for next year. We got some cobweb, spider, 
things going on here. This came in the box with the tombstones. Then we moved the skeleton so he's like kind of facing outwards. All right guys, Valerie unboxing. Okay, here's my toothbrush holder. Toothbrush holder, cute, cute. Now I can put my toothbrush, because I have a place for my toothbrush. Right. So I'll just put it away with me. We have guests if they were going to be upstairs. But for day to day, mm -hmm. uh, upstairs. Oh. Toothbrush goes in there, toothbrush goes in there. Well, that's convenient. Those oh. are cool. Okay, so let me see. Mm -hmm. So this must be. This is the toilet paper cage. So you put the rings on that and then put that over. Yeah, that's it. Interesting. That is cool. Okay. No, it's kind of a pewterish. It's supposed <laughs> to be. Oh well. Okay, so it is like 5:30 in the morning. I look like this because I'm going to help out at this pancake breakfast in town. It's put on by the Rotary Club, so I'm gonna go do that. And first, I'm gonna try this drink. It's the Frappuccino. I've been wanting to try one of these for forever, so I'm gonna try it. I have to leave pretty soon, so obviously I can't finish it, but I will um, finish it later if I like it. So, giving this a try. Mmm. Okay, it's sweet, and it has a touch of coffee. It's actually really good. If you guys wanna know what this tastes like, it tastes like a version of the mocha latte um, Adkins chocolate shake. That's what it tastes like. A plus, I really enjoy this. I'm gonna end the video here because I'm gonna just start a new video today. I think we're setting up my bed tonight, not sure. But um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.